We love Juan. I love Juan. <laughs> Look who here! Welcome to my bar! Oh. oh, really? I don't know who in their right mind would take such a risk. I, I guess you have more thirst than common sense. <laughs> anyway, check this drink out. Ooh, what do we got? Ooh. What do you say? Will you take the drink of the day? Or would you prefer the mystery box? Prefer the mystery box. <laughs> Could even well, be a box. Well, here's the thing. The box, I'm taking it. The box. I'll let the you box, get mystery box. The box. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. I was testing your common sense. And you passed. Your prize is uh, the drink you chose. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, Ooh. look at that. It's Minecraft It's pixelated. Drink. <laughs> what do you say? Will you take the drink of the day? What? It's but a it's Minecraft pixelated. drink. Clearly. Yeah, because it's Sex on the Beach. We can't show that. Whoa. Do I get the mystery <laughs> box option? Uh, if you click next, maybe. Oh, or would you geez. prefer the mystery the box? box? The box. Maybe the box. Like stand the box. I'm, I'm going for the box, dude. Give me the box. Yo, the box Give could be a box. Box. Open it. Oh. Phobia Ooh. shots? The mystery box? So bold of you. Oh, God. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Oh, oh, oh poggers. Cool what a cool dude. Quite appealing, right? Don't know if I drink that, but the real question is, will you? Mmm. That looks too safe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The box. The box. The yeah. Box, the box. The box. J just hit enter for the box. <laughs> I also have this mystery box because at this point, who knows what you drink? No, you're right. <laughs> I miss I miss the the cat shopkeeper too. She was great. All right, what's in, in from it? The first game. <gasps> the classical. Ooh. Oh palette. my god! Oh my god! This is perfect. Oh. oh, oh, this is perfect. Oh, it's like Bob I'm Ross, not gonna spoil this. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds. This is perfect. Oh, uh, <laughs> toilet, toilet wine. wine. <laughs> you have to toilet take the wine. <laughs> toilet <laughs> wine. Toilet, toilet wine. Toilet wine. Toilet wine. Yeah, no, totally. I was testing your common sense. And you passed. Your prize is uh, the drink you chose. What do I get? Oh, okay, yes. I want to know how this works. I don't even know what this does. It changes the game. Okay. Oh. Let's do some phobia shots, yeah. You know what they say. If you can't overcome your fears, drink them. True, true. Okay, Cheers sure. Sure. Doing that is surely oh, bold. Oh, you got boldness. Ooh, yeah. Boldness. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Don't drink the toilet wine. <laughs> <laughs> I just have it here because Polly insisted I offer it as a marketing stunt. I miss Polly. <laughs> Aw. That shit cannot do anything good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you got bad breath, no. motherfucker. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I managed to distill the stats that make us who we are. The result is the stat smoothie. It's a huge, delicious boost. Oh, 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 oh Jesse, you cheating out here. Oh, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Wanna drink the classical palette? I'm afraid, but yes. <laughs> I tried to harness the beauty of art in a potion. Well, it enhances the inner beauty of the world. All locations will become more beautiful. I can't wait for you to see this. I'm so excited. Oh, uh, please tell me everyone's naked. Just bask in it. Hey. Oh, I'm basking. Oh, did you hear that little violin? Yeah. This is the part where I leave before you puke all over me. Ciao. Okay, bye. Bye, bye Juan. Bye, Juan. Juan. Uh, choose an animal. Uh, a rhinoceros. Hand horse. Jesse. Alligator. Alligator, okay. Convince a pack of those animals to make you their pack leader. <laughs> Oh, well, I think uh, you I all think, know that honestly, I'm queen of the horses already. So. I think uh, pasta enemas first because okay. yeah. hamsters, queen of the hamsters, easy. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. easy. Okay. Hamsters yeah. would be like, okay. Hamsters, yeah. horses, <laughs> then rhinoceros, then probably alligators if I'm not. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So pasta enema, then poggers. Oh, who does it? Any of us? Uh, like whoever's it. turn it is. Oh, it's me. Okay, so pasta enema. Then uh, and then me. Poggers, dupe, dupe, snap. Doop, 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 and, and snap. snap. There you go. Back. Yeah, hell yeah. Alligators. <laughs> <laughs> Queen of the alligators. Where to go now? Ooh, I'm gonna go to Scout HQ. 
Oh, what the what? Okay. What the hell? Is this the classical palette? Oh, God, <laughs> this is perfect. Oh, my God. That day in Monster Scouts, you all learn how to build scarecrows. That's vaguely nature-related, right? Wow. Wow. You decide to take it a step further, though you add a magical crystal you found in a cave last month to your scarecrow, and it turns into a sentient being. Christ. <laughs> the scarecrow is very grateful to have been made alive. You take your new friend out for a soda and have a very pleasant afternoon. Oh. Then you're forced to disassemble him. The next group of scouts can use the materials. Your scarecrow begs you not to relinquish your gift of life, but you oh, have no. decided you are a dedicated monster scout first. Yeah. The scouts appreciate your dedication to the organization and you're awarded plus two creativity. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, That's beautiful right there. It's lovely. You're enjoying oh. a romantic <gasps> afternoon picnic with joy and you made sure that everything here was vegan, including the picnic basket and the blanket. Oh, that was pretty nice. Impressive. Gotta say, Pasta Enema, this is pretty impressive. I didn't know you could weave a blanket out of tofu fibers, but... Oh, wait, fuck. Did it just start raining? Oh, no. Sudden, inexplicable rain? Impossible. Al Roker promised it would be sunny today. <laughs> but despite Al's prediction, a menacing <laughs> storm rolls in. <gasps> and a bolt of... Who oh, is god. this? Oh my god. I and a bolt her. of lightning strikes two feet in front of you. It's pretty scary, but the sexy, villainous, magical warlockess that steps out of the lightning is even scarier. Oh my god. Can I be the warlockess? Please. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, you want... Oh. Okay. Let's see. Joy, my old flame, my most powerful nemesis. Oh, Just I love this. Just seeing you fills me with lust and uh -huh. blinding rage. I my love God. goddess. Oh, goddess. A uh, pasta enema. This is it, Salome. Salome, Salome, I think. Salome. Salome? Yeah. French. Yeah. yeah. My ex-girlfriend. Salome, what are you doing here? We broke up ages ago. And I already defeated you in the season 5 finale. Ha! <laughs> That's a loop under the bridge! I was stalking your bikini pics on Insta yesterday. Oh. I saw a post on Axorax's feed. You were hanging out with that bug-faced buffoon! I'm filled with horny jealousy! <laughs> Joy, if you wanted to have my crazy, hot, lubed-up rebound sex with an ex-lover, why didn't you call me? We were electric together, honey. Ugh. Holy shit. It's none of your business, but I was not having rebound sex with Axarax. As usual, you're completely blinded by your own thirstiness. Oh. Well, if you're not in the mood for rebound sex, we, we can have any kind of sex you want. Makeup sex, hate sex, break from doing your taxes sex, uh, anything <laughs> you want as yep. long as it's yep. sex. Enough of this. <laughs> Listen, Salome. I'll admit that we had pretty insane sexual chemistry, but I called it off for a reason. It always gets way too messy too fast. And also, you're evil. Remember when you dressed up in that leather harness to distract me and your poisonous mist spell killed like 180 people? Yeah, I gotta pass on this. What a disappointment. I didn't want to do this, but I have no choice. I'm forced to use my secret weapon of seduction. Prepare yourself for... This foot massage coupon! You gave me some romantic <laughs> coupons on our anniversary, and I've saved them all this time. Now, I'm redeeming this coupon to completion. Oh. Can we I... give big ups to the character design for holy Monster Cat? Because so holy so crap, they're great, all dude. so good. So it's good. amazing. I love everyone. I cannot. I can't say anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's I like tooting your own horn. <laughs> I cannot believe that I have to explain this to you, but romantic coupons are not legally valid, especially after a breakup. Duh. Super duper duh. Ridiculous. There's no expiration date on this coupon. <laughs> I suppose I can be reasonable. I have a whole collection of coupons here. How about a trade-in? I could redeem this gastric cleaning coupon for my doctor, or this oh coupon for a free, free Brazilian wax, or this Help coupon up. for a one, one free sexual yogurt experience from Yogurt Land. This oh, I'll take that one. Be for real. Ugh. These coupons are definitely bullshit, but picking one is probably the fastest way to get Salome to leave us alone. Pasta Enema, which coupon should I pick? Oh my god. Uh, oh god, girl. <laughs> Help Joy choice. vanquish her evil ex girlfriend by choosing the least horny coupon. Uh, 
What? Fortune favors the bold. Choose the ask me any question I will answer truthfully. Pick the right leg coupon. It's the last coupon we need to form the legendary Exo Exodia. Uh, what? Exodia. Exodia. Oh, Seriously, dude? dude? I, guess I, gotta, I guess I gotta do this one. I'm so oh my god. <laughs> the right leg coupon? Pathetic, you fool! That coupon is the most useless one in my whole collection. Wrong. It's completely worthless. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, you happen to have the other four Exodia coupons. But that's impossible. Victory will be mine. I swear, uh, if the, if there's no, uh, this coupon book has no pathetic coupons, huh? I'm gonna lose my mind. Pasta Enema, what are you doing? We have to pick a coupon that'll somehow defeat Salome's horniness, or I might lose myself to her raw sexual charisma. You've been waiting for this moment your whole life, and you won't back down now. You grab the right leg coupon from Salome and pull out the coupons your grandpa left you. You channel the heart of the cards and draw the four oh. legendary Exodia coupons. You fight- Wait, I just realized I'm doing the Yugi voice and not the narrator yeah, voice. It's fine, it works, it's fine. Um, oh jeez, watch out, you! You finally have them, all five pieces of Exodia. Oh. Wait, no, Pasta and am I still dangerous? You have no idea what you're doing. As a rat, I can't believe it. Those. Pasta Enema is the ultimate coupon strategy. Only the one true chosen coupon redeemer can summon a coupon this powerful. Suddenly the ground shakes in a devastating tremor and Exodia, Pharaoh King of Power emerges. He's a giant golden god and he's ripped as AF. Oh, yeah. Salome! <laughs> yeah? Salome! Exodia shouts. His voice sends a primal mortal fear down your spine. It is I, Exodia, your ex lover! Okay, Octo, oh. you have a very yes. half life, full life consequences thing going on right now, and I'm, yeah, uh -huh. I'm here for it. Thank yeah, no, you. I'm living. <laughs> oh my goddess! Salome, did you fuck Exodia? Of course I did! Why do you think they call him Exodia? He's my ex! <laughs> and I love puns. Oh, wow. Accidentally cheated on him 18 times, and he got super pissed for some reason, so I banished him away. I sealed his soul into five coupons, never to be released. But Pasta Anima has released me from my dark prison, and now I have a bunch of coupons from when we dated, and I want to redeem them. Ha! <laughs> huh. Serves you right, Salome. You could use a taste of your own lube flavored medicine. But can you two handle this somewhere else? We were in the middle of a vegan picnic. Of course! Exodia respects personal space and boundaries, shrieks Exodia. Wow, he's a pretty cool guy. Thanks for your help, Pasta Enema. I don't think Salome's gonna bother us anytime soon. Should we get back to our romantic picnic now? <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes, you made Joy super happy, and you also gained plus oh my God, how are you unrelated so smart? shenanigan oh my that God. happens after your picnic. Nice! I'm so smart! Fucking Ooh. Einstein my over here. <laughs> Oh gosh, bag. what do I need? <laughs> Everything. Okay, so creativity. Back to the. Oh, I can't go to the HQ because. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, nope, you goes... cannot go. Yeah, okay, two because can't they're go already to the same there. Place. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. What? Nowhere else gives creativity, right? So. You could um, boost the stats you already have, which would yeah, make it yeah, easier to do. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about do... that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So fun. Let's go to the lake. Oh my god! <laughs> you head to the lake to get your tan on, but as soon as you get there, it starts to rain. I love oh, this. Boo. This is amazing. Most of the b uh, beachgoers are gone, but no. Uh, you will enjoy a fun lake day, damn it. You had a really rough morning, and you won't let anything else stop you from gaining fun. Ah, uh, yeah. You aggressively splash in the lake and laugh as loudly as you can, hoping the clouds will give up on trying to ruin your day. Instead, the lake gets struck by lightning. Oh, oh god. Jesus. When you wake up from the electrocution coma, you're on oh. shore. The sun is shining, and you have a cool new facial twitch. You oh. win! You gain plus two fun. Oh, yay! Let's go. You're doing great. <laughs> you're resorting your collection of Pokemon, Pokemon cards, thinking wistfully of the Terry the Taxman you once traded for an Arctic colonialist, Ernest Shackleton, when oh. you're interrupted. Hi. <gasps> oh, hello. Here you are, Poggies. I've been looking everywhere for you. Hi. <laughs> These words warm your heart more than any fire ever could. Even more than the wildfire for which Damien is presumably searching desperately once more. Oh, really? I'm searching desperately for the wildfire once more. Son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. And there it is. <laughs> Since you were such a big help last time, I thought you might want to try again. I mean, 
You weren't such a big help as to actually bring the wildfire. Bitch, didn't you listen? You gotta bring that yourself. Yeah, <laughs> but I did appreciate your support and enthusiasm, and mostly if I do find the wildfire, I'm gonna need a witness to prove it. Oh, okay, no problem. Hmm. I realized our approach last time was all wrong, yet we pulled off something radical and metal as only I could, and what you watching, I guess. But is fire most known for being radical and metal? Uh... <laughs> yes, of course it is, but it's also known for being dangerous and reckless, obeying no laws, and fearing nothing. The wildfire will not appear simply to those who are radical and metal, or it totally would have already come to me. Right, right. Rad! I didn't do something truly, unmistakably dangerous and reckless to lure that sneaky wildfire out. Okay. Any thoughts? Not, not, not a clue. You're so tempted to tell Damien that the appearance of wildfire is based on weather and foliage, not worthiness. And Aravi was just fucking with him. R right. But doing that would be against your own interests, since it would cut short this valuable bonding time. Okay. So you make up some reckless, dangerous, stupid bullshit, but uh, because apparently putting your crush in danger is worth it, as long as you can do shenanigans with him. <laughs> true, oh, true. I feel, I feel that, feel that. Yeah. You should really do some introspection about this later, vis-a-vis -vis your priorities and ethics, but for now, you pitch Damien the best idea you've got, which is... Enroll <laughs> an expensive university and declare a useless major that has no job security. So reckless! I... Yeah. <laughs> Someone truly reckless would travel at 150 miles an hour in a Ferrari being driven by a cat. Cats don't give a fuck. Oh boy. You right though. Unless what if it's Juan? Did that bitch don't oh, know how to drive? <laughs> I mean, I feel like Juan could drive if he really tried. Juan could drive. Yeah, he's magical. So are you saying don't pick that one? I'm not telling you what to do. Oh. But if I was, <laughs> I would tell you which one to choose. But I'm not. So I'm <laughs> not gonna. <laughs> I, uh, it's not fun to go to school. True. Get me, True, get me in this Ferrari so with a cat. This could be also be bold. Get me, get me in this with this cat. Oh. Wait, wait, what? Why? Yes, I'm into it. I'm into it. And I can always store up a Ferrari at a moment's notice because that's how badass I am. Where the fuck are we gonna get a cat? Wait, we already saw one. Greetings. Oh, Ooh. Hello, organic life <gasps> forms. Oh, hello, friend Damien. Hello, friend Poggers. Look at that cat. <laughs> this I cat found this cat in the cat. woods, and I have been searching for the rightful owner. Oh, my God. Wow, you found him. That's me. Rightful owner of uh, this cat. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> Is this true, friend Damien? You do not seem like the type to voluntarily take care of a small, helpless creature with love and care. Oh, not at all. Well, according to some people, I'm completely changed and no longer a hardcore badass. So I need this cat to lean into that. He's blushing. <sighs> oh, heart. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh of course. I'm not going to do anything reckless or dangerous with this cat. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Smash cut two. Wait, did Damien just say smash cut? <laughs> oh shit! That was a smash cut somehow. You're speeding down the highway at 200 miles per hour in a Ferrari driven by a cat. Oh wait, what? They said 150. Driven is in quotes because the cat has no thumbs and is too small, so it's just a cat calmly sitting at the gas pedal <gasps> of a Ferrari, literally flooring it. <laughs> uh, how is this not bold? Hell this yeah! Is bold. This is so awesome and reckless. We're going so fast. We're going so fast, like really fast, so reckless. <laughs> huh? So fast, so reckless, maybe too fast, too reckless. As the car starts to drift head on into traffic because no one is steering, Damien lunges for the wheel and steers you safely out of traffic. <gasps> oh, Damien. And then slams safely on the brakes. The cat leaps gracefully out of the car, giving no fucks. Oh, well. <sighs> I can't believe I just wimped out on that. I was out reckless by a cat, a cat. The bland ass pretentious Liam the Liam core of animals. Oh no. Loser. Why did you set me up to fail like this, Poggers? <gasps> My self esteem <gasps> has never been worse. I'm lower than a cat. The wildfire will never appear to me now. Oh my god, I can't believe school was the right option. I know. Huh. A Ferrari driven by a cat feels like a very Damien thing. But maybe you underestimated his growth as a person. In this case, that unfortunately costs you minus two smarts and minus oh, one. Oh, I'm so fun. dumb. Oh god. 
Can I take a minute to think? Me too. Uh, let's see. Where am I going? Uh, <laughs> bro, we I, are. We my are smart stats friends. are in the toilet we right now. We are smart friends, bro. <laughs> where I, where I fucking drank I mean, it's the bad wine news from. for you, Octo. You gotta go boldness and charm. Let's go to the haunted mansion. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. Wow. Wow. While you're exploring this is amazing. the haunted. The haunted manor, you hear a voice calling your name. It comes from under the bed. Two blood red eyes stare at you from the inky darkness under the bed. A voice that sounds older than time whispers, Do you want to gain some boldness, Dum Dum? You fuck? say yes because you actually do want <laughs> that. Is that Mickey Mouse? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, here you go. Oh, oh, Whatever that thing is, it gives boldness. you plus two boldness. What a nice under the bed thing. Wow. <sighs> Later, Damien and Milo are helping you make the most fire insta post of all time. Damien did your hair and makeup, and Milo's posted your elegantly posed you elegantly in front of like 80 ghosts. This shot is everything. The light is refracting through the ghost exactly as I planned. Now doop doop. Try and look like you care a little less, okay? Now that I fixed him up, he does look kind of good. Is he not such a dog after all, doop doop? Suddenly, the door bursts open. You see a tall, lanky, masked man. He's got a knife and the gleam of murder in his eyes. Uh-oh. The gleam of murder. What the hell? Oh, boy. Oh boy. Who's going to be serial killer? Luca Jin, you want to be the serial killer uh, guy? How? Oh, no. <laughs> perfect. The fact that you're <laughs> shocked, that perfect. That kind of attitude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, teens, prepare to die because I'm going to kill you. You yeah, can run great. The, you can great. run if you want, but it makes way less fun for me if you do it. <laughs> Ah! Oh no, it's the... Uh, wait, what the fuck is your name again? Yes, I'm realizing that I don't remember his name either. Can you enlighten us before you murder us, darling? You guys, what the hell? It's me, Jerry. The theory of killer Jerry? The stabs horny teens in this weird old house? Uh, that Jerry, remember? Ha 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 ha! Ha Dude, your name is Jerry? That's the least intimidating serial killer name I've ever heard! What are you gonna do? Poke me with a toothpick? Damien's right. Jerry is a depressing name. It doesn't provoke fear. It's not memorable. Jerry, dear, your name is a key pillar of your whole serial killer brand. Okay, time out from killing. Uh, are you serious? Be because I have kind of noticed that people don't always take me seriously when I kill them. Uh, maybe they're just not scared of my name. Fucking duh, dude. Nobody was scared of Richard, the guy who stabs nurses and loves crepes, until he changed his name to Trash Bag Torso Impale. Don't let Damien worry you, Jerry. We'll help you rebrand. It's what we do. How about this? The Silken Handed San Antonio Slayer, class you know. Oh. Whoa, that's an awesome serial killer name. Uh, only problem is I'm not from Texas. <laughs> what if we went with something super classic like uh, the Butcher of Baby Blood? Ooh. Man, you come with teens and babies, right? You're super weird about... Are you And you're super weird about sex stuff? Wait, holy shit, I just figured it out. The campsite ball ripper. <laughs> Damien, that's absolutely inspired. But I just checked, and apparently someone already has the handle at Campsite Ball Ripper. Oh. Guess that name's taken. Ah, <laughs> uh, it always is. Just put some uh, numbers at the end. I fucking hate the Campsite Ball Ripper. That guy's my number one serial killer rival. He's always ripping everybody's balls off before I can stab him. The oh, fuck? This is so hard. Should I just quit, you guys? No. <laughs> Oh no, Jerry's so discouraged he's ready to get s quit serial killing. You hate to see- you hate seeing people give up on their dreams. Come up with the perfect serial killer nickname for Jerry. Ooh, good luck. Jerry the <laughs> alleged <laughs> murderer. <laughs> uh, renowned Australian symbologist murderer Gustav Klimt? Gustav wow. Klimt! Gustav Klimt! Oh my Klimt. god! Wow! Gustav That's Klimt. big brain. So I love um, it. <laughs> I don't, I think the second one is smarts and I'm an idiot. Oh yeah, I was about uh, to say, I'm gonna let you know, that second one you are not succeeding on. Oh, oh no. what? That was that the smart one! <laughs> Jerry, the alleged murderer? It seems a little confusing, but I, I guess it's the best nickname since we've come up with so far. I, I guess I'll give it a try. To just start his new serial killer nickname, Jerry the alleged murderer goes on a murdering spree, which is technically defined as two or more killings without a cooling off period. A few days later, Jerry finds you, M Milo, and Damien. He looks pissed as hell and extra murdery. He always looks some murdery, but it's way worse than normal. 
Hey, you fucking kids! <laughs> With your three trying to make me look like an idiot? I love this voice for this guy, Luca. <laughs> this is great. I never try, dear. Yeah, we don't do shit. Uh, we didn't do shit. Do shit to shit for shit. What are you worked up so about, Jam Bear? Jerry, Jerry turns on the TV, and there's two newscasters are giving the Daily Serial Killer murder recap. Today, a man was arrested for tabbing, stabbing two senior citizens in the eyes. One knife per eye for a total of four knives. The police have arrested the alleged murderer. See? That lame-ass murderer is stealing my nickname! I, I told all my serial killer friends that I'm good by the alleged murderer, and now they're all using it. It's bullshit! Next, a man took the stand today for killing all of the delegates of the United Nations one by one. The alleged murderer refused to give a name. Interpol is still investigating. Fuck! Another brand stealing murderer! I hate these fucking copycats! Ugh! Why didn't I have the foresight to file a trademark for being a murderer? Oh my. I never thought I would say this, but Jerry the alleged murderer makes an insightful point about branding. <laughs> Milo is so on top of this. They always know what to say. A brand name should distinguish you from all your competition. Oh, this is exactly what happened to poor Kleenex. It's why they were crushed by Puffs Plus Lotion. <laughs> it's true. Uh, at least, at least there's one thing that we can all agree on. This whole thing is Doop Doop's fault. He came up with his dumbass nickname, remember? Doop Doop, you ruined my career and I'm not <laughs> going to deal with my emotion by murdering you. There's not going to be any alleged about it either. Jerry stabs you really bad and leaves <gasps> you for dead. No! Wish you were dead, but instead of dying, you just lose minus two charm and no, minus doop, one bonus. Doop. Oh no! That's okay, I deserved it. Okay, what All the right. fuck is up with your stats, Jesse? Well, you know, sometimes in life wow. you just are Dance, oh, perfect with gaming and, and, you know. <laughs> no, I, I think there's some shenanigans going on here. That day at the Camp Dome, we're doing some classic oh. battle royale. Lots of fun and murder. <laughs> Look at it. Spartacus. Yeah, ooh, looking good. You've cornered another player who begs you to spare her life. You decide to spare her, but you still shoot an arrow in her spleen. Little known fact, people store excess charm in there. Oh. Huh. She starts bleeding charm, and you take plus two charm and drink it. It refreshes you and makes your skin clearer. Oh, today I learned. Nice. Later, you stop by the dome to look for a can of Pringles you left there, but you accidentally get drafted into the dome battle royale that happens every Tuesday. The rules are simple. Join a team of three, lock the door to the dome, fight to the death. 400 warriors have entered the camp dome today. Only three will leave alive! Hopefully you will be one of those three, and hopefully you will find your Pringles. Yeah, really. Roar! <laughs> yeah! Murder, baby! Eat my ass! <laughs> Luckily for you, you managed to get Damien and Aravi on your team. As your teammates, they're killing it. Literally, these two seem to really thrive in extreme violence. Stay down! Gods! Fuck yes! I haven't killed two guys with the same crossbow bolts in a while. The trick is to line it up just right and aim for the eye socket. So sick! <laughs> eh, kinda unimaginative if you ask me. I just killed an entire team by eating them alive. Just me, a fork, and my fucking fists! Oh my god! I went through such an eating people alive phase! Did you know that a normal human can survive someone eating their face? But they'll die if you eat their brain? Damien, did you just call this my no-scope crossbow double kill headshot unimaginative? Are you kidding me? I'm carrying this team! We're only in the diamond skills here because of my battle rage massacre at the start of the game. That was a 12 kill streak! Bullshit! I've gotten way more kills than you, and I'm way sicker. I let my chainsaw on fire, Ravi. You should be taking notes. Bros, <laughs> calm down. Just look at it this way. You're both way better murderers than Lil Snapback. She hasn't even gotten one kill this whole game. Lol. It's true, you haven't killed any enemies yet. You thought you'd killed one person, but then you realized that you just lured them to sleep with your gentle, non-lethal punches. Oh. <laughs> oh. You can... Look like a pacifist in front of these two adorable psychopaths. Impress your friends with your raddest technique for indiscriminate murder! Uh, tobacco use is one of the leading causes of death in our <laughs> society. So beat the shit out of your enemies with cigarettes! And the words of Theodore Roosevelt speak softly and tie an angry badger and five loaded guns to the end of a big stick. Uh, man, I feel hell. like the last one's bold. 
Yeah, and you're. I think the first I'm one's smart. I'm very smart. smart. Let's, let's get them. Let's, let's teach everyone a valuable lesson. You remember your third grade teacher telling you that smoking even a single cigarette will kill you 100% of the time. You throw a few packs of smokes at a nearby team. One of the enemies picks up a cigarette. Huh, that's weird. Free cigarettes. Smoke them if you got them. The team smokes the cigarettes and leaves very confused. Oh. Bah! <laughs> that was beautiful. That was brutal. Metal as fuck, little snapback. You're finally pulling your weight. Um, what the hell? This is a battle royale. That wasn't a lethal attack, little snapback. That was just a weird gift that you gave to some strangers. Nah, Ravi. You're not seeing the big picture here. Little Snapback just destroyed those motherfuckers, and they're never gonna see it coming. Now that Little Snapback has got him hooked, years from now, the pulmonary capacity will be drastically reduced. They'll get breathing diseases, yellow teeth, sore throats. <laughs> and even if they don't die, they'll spend loads of cash on the nicotine addictions. It's almost more mean than just killing them. Holy motherfucking shit. That's... that's... genius! Little Snapback just mildly ruined their lives! Mildly ruining people's lives is my thing! Back off, Little Snapback! Okay, I still don't really get it, but Damien and Hex are the most lethal people I know, so I'll take their word for it. Thanks, Little Snapback. You guys have something really important to say. I have something really important to say, so I need everybody to shut the shit up and listen to me. We are the best team ever! Hell yeah! Now let's use our excellent teamwork and mutual respect to murder everyone in this dome! Hell yeah! You have a great day with your friends. <laughs> Damien works his chainsaw, Aravi busts out her medieval flail, and you give tons of people nicotine addictions with your create cigarette attack! You gain plus two bonus and plus one fun. Wow. Jesus, Jesus Christ! Christ. Jesse, holy <laughs> shit! You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Out of that town of video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Oh, thank God, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC! What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a professional broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots! It's a professional broadcast. Now here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a professional broadcast. You got it!